Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an M7 Priest. It's a Tier 3 American SPG, and this one's located on the north spawn of Wide Park under the command of UK Scarface. Well, this RT is based on the hull of an M3 Lee with the M4 suspension system, as you can see there, the vertical volute. And, uh, well, it's mounting a 105mm gun which is uh, capable of 410 alpha if it can penetrate the armor, 27 millimeters. And it's a very handy little RC. I can tell you I got my first bombardier in one of these. Game started. Now the beautiful skin you see it wearing came from Sir Rusty. It's uh, one of those uh, uh, skins which has um, got our logo on the side, you can see. And uh, we're very grateful for that. And it uh, looks like uh, UK Scarface is not going to go very far. But he's going to sit at the entrance and... Oh, is he going? He's going to go behind a tree. He knocked a tree down to do it. And he was seen. So he's going to have to back up because otherwise the enemy RT will be firing in this direction. Yep. You don't want to get spotted as an RT in this map if you can help it because... Uh, you will be targeted by the enemy RT, but you're fairly safe from this position here, as long as you've got the building between you and the enemy RT. And he's got an M3G FT just off there in the distance. He's dialing in, almost ready. Now he's ready. Rounds out. Well, it was smack on target, but the M3G FT moved, and you can see where he moved. He just moved a short distance away. But the reload is only 17.26 seconds, so he's going to be ready any second, and then he's going to try again. This time round, it'd be a bit more successful. Oh! Shell overshoots! Wargaming is trolling UK Scarface. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, that shell went right over the top of the target and landed the other side without doing any damage whatsoever. But you won't see much splash from the 105mm gun. And you can see the wall of that building is actually getting in the way of the shot. So instead, he's just pulled around the corner. I don't think there's anybody spotting for the enemy team at the moment. So... What he's actually doing is dialing in on a position so he can get a shot at that Chiha or the B1. No, he's got a red line, so the building's in the way. So there's no target that he can shoot there. Now, there's an M there's a Bison. That's the enemy RT. Okay, he's dialing in on that as a priority target because that RT can take him out. And... He's probably dialing in on somebody right now. Rounds out. Looks good. And it's a direct hit. Wipes him out. So that's his first kill. Takes out the enemy RT. And that means now the team are RT free for the rest of the game. And that's good because the Bison, the Storm Panther 1, is actually quite a deadly RT. In the right hands, it can do a lot of damage. It's got a 15 centimeter gun, you see. And he's got another kill. A Chiha this time. 128 hit points. He's dialed in and taken that guy out. If you stay long, still too long in this game, you can be hit and taken out of the game. Well, they're one tank behind. He's going to fire a blind shot in and didn't get anything off that. But now we've got a B1, the Char B1, the French heavy tank. It's a tier 4 heavy tank, but it's a very effective tank. I saw one at Tank Fest last year and I was very impressed by it indeed. Rounds out. And he's killed that too. Three kills. So he's doing very well in this game so far. He's got the highest number of kills on his team. Well, um, he shares the top, actually, with the Panzer 1C. He also got three before he was killed. But, of course, UK Scarface is still in operation. And he's going for more kills. T29, he fires around in. No, unfortunately, he didn't recorrect the aim because that building was in the way so he wasn't going to get a shot there but he can hit that Hetzer and he's dialing in on that position as he's reloading and he'll just adjust a little to get the Hetzer as soon as he's ready he's got to he's got to get this right the Hetzer's coming up the slope if he gets it right that Hetzer's going to get one hell of a surprise when he gets to the top and rounds out and he's just killed the Hetzer as well. So that's four kills now. He has got the highest number of kills on his team. By sure. <laughs> okay. Well, the enemy has made it north. And they're in this area. But um, there you go. There's a B1. That's the B1, I think. No, it's a different B1. 
but he's dialing in on that position and looks like he's going to put a shell right through that B1 if he can help it, if he can do it. I'm not sure if he's ready, but he does fire it and he's killed it! 105mm round went straight through the front of that char B1. Wiped him out. There are only three enemy left, but there's only two left on UK Scarface's team. One's a Valentine anti-tanky. You can see that and he's been spotted. And in fact, it's this T29 that spotted him. And he's been hit. But he fires around in and takes out the T29. And that's his top gun. Now there's only two enemies remaining. A T29, we know where he is, we can see him, and he's actually hit him in the track, he's fired around in, we're almost loaded. Dialing in, oh it went long, he was seen, but it is the T29 that's spotting him. Okay, the T29 is sitting there on that corner, now that's a big mistake, because UK Scarface can hit him if he stays there. He's loaded. There's the T29. He's going the other side. Can he get a shot in? No, doesn't need to. The Valentine AT takes him out. That means there's only one enemy remaining. It's a Marder 2. Now, remember, as I said at the start of this game, this is based on the hull of an M3 Lee, which is a medium tank. And it's got the uh, suspension system of the M4. So it's basically a medium tank in disguise with a big 105mm gun. Of course, it's an RT disguise. They made 4,316 of these and they first saw action at the Battle of El Alamein. So that, because the British were given some with the 105mm gun, but of course the British wanted to have a 25 pounder gun because they have plenty of 25 pounder ammunition and the uh, Marder is behind him. Now, the Valentine is heading for the other end and UK Scarface instead is... Is he going to go that way? Or is he going to take up a position near the railway line and try and shoot at the Marder as the Marder tries to defend himself against the uh, Valentine? Well, the enemy's capping rather foolishly. Or is he? No, he's not. He's decided to fight. And UK Scarface is dialing in. This is going to be fun. Can he get the kill on this last enemy? No, because the Valentine 80 takes up a position behind a wreck and takes him out. Game over. It's a victory. So from a near defeat, they, so they clawed it back to a victory. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for UK Scarface and the M7 Priest. In fact, it's his very first ace tanker in this RT. Because um, it's got the scrolls underneath. And when you get those scrolls, that means it's the first one. He also managed to get a shell proof and a bruiser medal out of that game. But best of all, he took two shots during that game. Um, big enough shots to actually lose two thirds of his hit points, but both the shells actually hit his tracks. And so therefore they didn't penetrate. But he actually did um, receive those two shots. He managed to kill at least two enemy. In fact, he got six. And that qualifies him for a Starks medal. And they're very rare and very difficult to get because normally you have to almost die in the process of getting it. And of course, you have to be alive at the end of the game to get one as well. And on top of that, he got that Top Gun as well for getting six kills. He really dominated that battle with some very accurate shooting. And the win eight for the game, 2,981, which is Super Unicum standard. So let's have a look at team score. There you go, right at the top of the table. He didn't get the highest damage. That went to the P2640 on the enemy team. 882 hit points of damage to him, but he didn't survive the game. Um, UK Scarface managed 709 hit points, the second highest damage, but he also managed to get the highest number of kills with six. The next high score was the A20, who managed four, and then there's a bunch of tanks with three kills. And when it came to base XP, well, he was beaten to the pit by the B1, managed 772 before he died. He got a cool headed, uh, whereas UK Scarface, he got 670 base experience points, and the M15 managed 538. He fired 11 rounds during that game. He got seven direct hits, 
no penetrations none of them penetrated but he did do splash damage on seven and damage of 709 hit points of which 681 were at more than 300 meters he received two hits both into the tracks they were both non-penetrations and that's where uh, the value or the amount of da blo damage blocked 220 hit points was more than two-thirds of the hit points of his own vehicle and that's how he qualified for the starks he spotted one enemy vehicle, which I think was the Marder, towards the end of the game. He damaged seven of the enemy, killed six of them, and on a premium count, he earned 16,239 credits. And after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 14,393 credits. The ammunition on this RT is very cheap. He received 1,005 XP times two for the first victory and he got a reward for completing the mission 2491 and a personal reserve bonus for 1005 took away 5506 experience points altogether so a very satisfactory ace starks and top gun from this game and just goes to show even if you're at low tiers the same principles apply as it does at higher tiers let the aim steady on the target let, wait for the aim to complete then you shoot and most of the time you will hit the target he did fire once missed the target altogether the shell just shot over the top of him landed the other side but virtually all the other shots went right on target hit the tank in fact there was that one shot on the b1 which i didn't think would hit because it was only indicating the corner of the vehicle that he was actually touching but the shell did plow straight through the corner of that vehicle and took him out totaled him so congratulations to UK Scarface. If you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. We get great replays like this all the time and there'll be another one along shortly. If, um, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.